Welcome to our Almost Homestead channel. I'm Jay. And I'm Virginia. And it's taken us a little while to get to our introduction video. Um, I live up here full time, but Virginia still works a real job and works an hour and a half away and stays with family during the week. So she comes up on the weekend and when she's up here, we're either working on projects or she's just wiped out from working a lot of hours and driving a lot of miles. So anyway, here's our introduction video. So three years ago we bought this cabin and uh, last year we bought three other small properties. So the idea is these four properties that we have are what makes up the almost homestead. We're not a one property homestead, we're four properties. So that's where the almost homestead name came from. Because at this point we want to use what we have with where we are right now. Right. Last year we uh, sold our house that we lived in for 18 years. We uh, paid off all our debt. Um, it was a big step for me. It was hard. <laughs> but uh, we like it up here. We're on a river. It's a really small cabin though. It's almost 400 square feet. So it was, it's kind of hard for us both, both to live here full time right now, but it's getting there. We, we have a lot of things that we have done and we have a lot of things that we want to do. Yeah, it gets crowded fast in here with uh, two people and even the limited amount of stuff we have up here. We do have a uh, basement pretty much underneath, but it's a dirt floor and no walls. So that's a project for the summer is to finish that basement, have a bedroom down there and give us more space for two people to live in. When we had a house, we did a lot of projects there. We did different projects inside the house, putting in wood stoves and mantles, and we built sheds in our backyard. We built a greenhouse out of reclaimed material that turned out really cool, and that was a, a team project that we, it really went well, and that was a lot of fun. Um, we kind of missed that little greenhouse. We started, the garden. A, yeah, started a nice garden. We had a really nice spread there for a garden with a bunch of raised beds made out of reclaimed material. We're really big on the reclaimed and reuse uh, materials, so that's some things you'll be seeing videos on is our projects using that uh, reclaimed materials and where we get them and maybe tips on how to find them. Um, some other projects we took care of last year all right. Yeah, last year and into this year, we've put in a driveway at our other property, one of our other properties, and a culvert, and that was all done just using hand tools. So that was a really good experience, something I'd never done before. And some reclaimed materials. Yeah, yeah. Broken concrete that we took out of uh, Jen's parents' rental. Uh, we used that up, so... So we didn't have to put it in the, in the in landfill. landfill. Yeah. Um, what else do we do? We put in a water system. So we have a tank, a hot water tank under the house and a pressurized water. We actually have running water in the kitchen and hot water at that. So that was a major milestone for us to have water because this cabin was a dry cabin when we bought it. Um, it was pretty much a shell when we moved in. Yeah. And we put in a, a floor because it was just subfloor put down. And uh, we put a plywood floor on top of it because it was economical and I I kind of liked the way it looked. Um, we put in kitchen cabinets that we got off of Craigslist. Yeah, free it cabinets. Was, it was wonderful. And we put in a um, 2 by 10 countertop and with a sink from uh, that we got from a neighbor in this area. He had it on his property and let us have it. Yeah, a lot of freebies. Mm -hmm. We bought a wood stove and put in. Um, yeah. What else have we done? We put in some storage. We got a uh, oh yeah a big cabinet off of Craigslist also, and put in some needed linen storage and all that. Yeah, and built a wood shed. Uh, it holds probably two cords of wood right around there, and built another storage shed for more reclaimed materials. Um, we put in stairs. This this property is really vertical from the road. It just goes down, 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 down like four or five levels to the river and so it was really necessary to put in some stairs because there's a lot of clay soil around here and it was very slippery. Yeah, <laughs> steep and slippery so 
we finally have steps and pathways uh, and gravel down so it's a little safer for people out here um, what else did we do we've we've taken out a couple trees in the upper properties and then the PUD came and took out a bunch of other trees so we've I've been cutting a lot of wood lately and splitting a lot of wood so we should have a nice supply for next winter so that's nice <laughs> um, so on our other property, one of the other properties up above, the plan is to build a garden up there, a greenhouse and raised beds, and have it a uh, covered area for more of our reclaimed material, kind of a little boneyard up there. And Jin is the gardening expert. Well, I like to grow things, but uh, I wouldn't say I'm an expert. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, I did want to talk about a little bit about some seeds that we have or where we've gotten our seeds. Um, we do buy seeds from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds and um, we got an order I think last month and you know after Christmas all you want to do is plant so gardeners know what that's like. So we have seeds from Baker Creek, we have seeds from Seattle Seed Company because we're outside of Seattle by local. Um, also, um, at my local library, they have a seed sharing program, so that's a lot of fun to see what seeds people put in that area, in that program. Yeah. And then we got this in the mail just the other day, um, Clyde's Garden Planner, and because uh, I never really know when to plant, start plants in the house, and we have a little area in the cabin here where we can um, start seeds and... Um, just try to get things to grow. I have some rhododendron, rhododendron cuttings, and I'll be very happy if I can get them to root. Um, I have a apple seedling. Somebody at work gave me some seeds, and I have no idea if we'll ever get any kind of apples off the tree, but it was fun to try, and we'll just try and see what we get. Eventually, we do want to have more fruit trees. Uh, that would be great to definitely add to the garden. Someday it would be awesome to have a little orchard. Um, I miss my plum tree from the house, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> we also had these sweet potatoes that we, you know, were starting to be too far gone. So we put them in water, and we're starting some sweet potato slips. Hopefully those will do good. That'll be yeah. fun to grow some of those. That thing's really taken off lately. That's good. Mm -hmm. Our garden up there, our garden area, we started garlic... I think back in October and the garlic is about six inches tall now which is pretty amazing because it's just uh, like a rainforest up here and it's been pretty cold up here for a couple months now. Um, we're no strangers to YouTube. We've used YouTube a lot in the past several years for uh, instructions or troubleshooting on something. Uh, so YouTube's always been a handy tool for us and so it's kind of nice now to have our own channel and uh, be creating content and documenting our journey to homesteading. Um, it's a great time to be on YouTube. There's a lot of homesteading channels popping up. It's obviously grown in popularity and uh, there's just a lot of information out there if you want to get started homesteading. there's We subscribe to a lot of channels and follow different homesteading channels and that's growing as we get more subscribers and find out about other channels we're uh, subscribing to their channels so it's really a neat community to be part of where you can share all your ideas so thanks for tuning into our channel uh, we really appreciate everyone that's subscribed to our channel so far and we look forward to hearing from you guys if you want to give us a comment or any suggestions uh, questions we welcome all of that uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Indeed. See you next time. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Maybe that's a good what... ending. No. <laughs> no. Oh, it'd be funny. <laughs> so thanks for tuning into our channel. We appreciate everyone that's subscribed so far and uh, we look forward to hearing from you if you have any questions, comments, um, concerns <laughs> let us know and uh, we hope you subscribe to our channel and follow along on our journey to uh, creating this homestead for jay and virginia at the almost homestead thanks for watching thanks a lot see ya